Hello. Uh, for those of you who missed the introduction to the Christian writings of Kim Friesen, um, just uh, click on the link above and it will take you to the uh, introduction. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Christian writings of Kim Friesen. And she writes, my child, hear and understand this parable. There was a very happy king who ruled in a very small kingdom for the amount of people in that land that were so small compared to the inhabitants of the much larger neighboring lands. But though he was small, he was content to give of his life to care for his people and his land. But no such grace was known in all the neighboring lands. Here, everyone continually sought for fame and gain. One day, the maker of all the kingdoms arose and said, I will go and see how it fares with my kingdoms. And when he came and beheld the order each king had set up in his own kingdom, he was wroth that no one had been thankful for his portion. But when he was shown the land of the little people, he rejoiced with great joy, for the joy they had in their small portion give them the portion of the greedy and thankful ones, and cast the greedy and thankful out of their kingdoms to rule no more, but let them serve the thankful little people, said the maker of the kingdoms. And it was so hear and receive this parable. The little king is the mind of Christ, and the king's people are his useful and thankful thoughts, which serve him in particular order. The neighbor kings are the kings of the kingdoms of this world, whose thoughts are of greed and gain. The keeper of all the kingdoms is the Holy Spirit, who now has come to bring all thoughts into submission of Christ. And scripture references, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ from 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjections under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. It says in Hebrews 2, 8. other than scripture, of course, the Christian writings of Kim Friesen. And we thank you, Jesus. And we thank you, Kim.